I feel my artistic vision coming alive! Phew, this is hard work. I need to cool off. Ugh, that was hard. But this is much better. Wait, what's this? Oh no! I think it's my lipstick! It must have rubbed off! Shoot! Psst! Hey! Over here! Psst! Psst! Huh? What's that noise? What? Oh, my lipstick came off! Oh, is that all? I've got you covered. Here you go! I took an empty paint container. I filled it with clear gel like Vaseline. And the color I wanted. Then I just mixed it all together. When it was fully mixed, it was done! In order to use it, I just need a paintbrush, get a little dab, and then add it to my lips. And just like that, I made colored lip gloss! Oh wow! This works great! And when it's dry, you just peel it off! See? Your lips are still colored! It's a lip stain! It'll stay on all day now! You don't have to worry about it rubbing off either! You're a literal genius! Thanks! Now back to my art! Sometimes all it takes is one look in the mirror to realize you need some tending to. Ugh, why are my lips so dry? Uh, I'm gonna have to call you back. So embarrassing. Now what do I do? Skin's practically hanging off of me. But I don't want to pull it off. Lip balm should help, right? Well, no wonder my lips are chapped. There's nothing left in this thing? I just can't catch a break. Some lipstick will have to do. This is out too? Guess my lips have no hope. Unless… Clean out your empty lip balm container. And set it aside. In a small dish, mix some coconut oil, Vaseline, and a chunk of your favorite lipstick. Perfect. Once the mixture melts, pour it into the empty lip balm vessel. Then off to the fridge it goes to harden. See you soon, little guy. I'm back! You look perfect! Time to take this for a test drive. But I've gotta use the right end of it. There! Man, do these lips need some of this. Oh hey, perfect pout! You really saved the day. Oh! I gotta call Vicky back! Quick, let's take a selfie before class starts. Um, Lana, what the heck is wrong with your eye? What? How did my makeup get all smudged like that? I just put it on! Oh man, what am I supposed to do now? Ugh, rubbing it in just made it ten times worse. I don't even think I brought any spare makeup with me. But maybe this highlighter can help? Okay, why didn't I think of this before? If you're having a smudge catastrophe, a little highlighter can save the day. In just a couple swift moves, those unsightly marks will disappear. Aren't highlighters supposed to draw color? Well, funny you should ask that. I actually tweaked this highlighter a bit to fit my needs. First, start with a bowl of warm water. Then grab a highlighter and take off its end before taking off the cap and removing the tip. Drop it in the water before taking out the ink inside the marker and doing the same thing. Then you just sit around and wait for all the color to extract. Next, take the color-free ink holder and tip and soak it in eye makeup remover like this one. There you go! Once they've soaked in the remover, put the pieces back inside the highlighter. Don't forget the cap. And basically, that's how it's done. Wanna give it a try? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Well, we better get to work. Class just started. Looks like a typical afternoon hanging out with friends. Sophia, you've gotta see this hilarious meme. No! Oh, 
something tells me that wasn't the look you were going for, Sophia. Amy! You made me break my very favorite lipstick! I'm so mad at you right now, Amy! Here, it's all yours now. Oh man, there's gotta be a way I can fix this. Anyone have magic powers to stick this thing back together? Actually, I have an idea. Did you know that you can manipulate makeup when you melt it? For a broken lipstick like this, put a small flame to the base, making it nice and soft. Now stick the broken pieces right on top and melt them together as you melt it. After it cools, remove any lingering broken pieces. And that's all there is to it. Hey Sophia, I have something to show you! I hope it's not another meme. What? Is that my broken lipstick? How on earth did you get it back together again? It literally looks exactly the same as when I first bought it! Okay, can I be your best friend again? I can barely keep my eyes open. Time to cozy up. Oh yeah, I forgot to take my hair down. But I just got in. Ugh. Okay, now I'm ready to hit the hay. That's better. Oh no! I forgot to take my lipstick off! Will this ever end? I love wearing makeup, but taking it off's a pain. Ugh, just do it. Uh, hello? Anything in there? What? Jeez, I just can't win today, can I? Wait a sec. This makeup's coming off one way or another. Put some coconut oil into a jar like this. Drop in some mineral oil, water, and a whole stack of cotton pads. Yep, soak up all that oily goodness. Once they've soaked, put the lid back on the jar. Time to head back to bed. Keep the jar within arm's reach of the bed. Now you can take off all your makeup without even taking off the covers. The pads stay nice and wet in the jar. Ready to go when you are! Ah, goodbye makeup! Put the lid back on so they don't dry out. Okay, can I finally lay my head down now? Sweet dreams, Lily. Shoot! I made a mistake on my drawing! This eraser doesn't work very well. Come on! Just gotta erase this line! Oh no! I tore through my paper! This dumb eraser really ruined things for me. I've gotta have a better eraser somewhere! Shoot! Psst! Ava! Hey, Ava! Do you have an eraser I can borrow? Nope. But you can have this if it will help. What? How is this supposed to help? Hey, wait! Maybe I can make it so it can help! Okay, I'll take an eraser. And then I'll just compress it so its edges are rounded. Yep, great! Now I'll need the tube of lipstick. And I'll need something to scoop out any remaining makeup. A tube of chapstick would work for this too! All right, I've got all the remaining makeup out! Now I can just put the eraser into the tube! And I can roll it up or down as needed! I'm a genius! This is gonna be great! Look how easy it is to erase! And now I can safely put it away. Great! And now back to my drawing! There's an art to touching up in between classes. But when it comes to using liquid liner, it's a whole other ball game. Steady. Whoa! Oh. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Well, this is great. This makeup remover better work wonders. I feel awful. Hey. Look at the angle on this eraser. Why not use it? Start by cutting off the eraser's corner. Whoa! 
Now put glue onto the top of a Q-tip and stick that eraser piece to it. Make sure it dries a bit. Let's give this a test run. Cover it with the eyeliner and, with the help of a mirror, stamp it on and sweep it over your lid. Looks pretty good, right? And the same piece works on both lids. Do makeup artists know about this awesome trick? How's it look? It's so perfect! Who knew this thing was so versatile? Aren't you just the cutest little kitty? Now sit here while mommy gets ready, okay? I hope this lasts. I've got a long day ahead of me. Whoa! Watch those paws, kitty! You know better than that. No, no, no! No! All the powder's ruined! You've gotta be kidding me! This thing was brand spanking new, too. Can I even use this stuff now? Aw, oh, man. I guess I'll just be shiny forever. Unless… Perhaps this bottle can fix the problem. Take the crumbled powder and make it even finer. The back of a brush works best. Then spray some perfume onto it. Once it's wet, mix it around with the brush. Looking better already, right? Make sure to smooth it out flat. That was easy! The fact that it smells like flowers is a bonus. Now it's back to a solid powder. Crisis averted! Don't worry, princess, you're off the hook. Who could stay mad at that face? But maybe no more hanging out up here, okay? Catching up on all your online videos is a great time to squeeze in some self-care. Whoa, check out this girl's gorgeous hair! I've always wanted to try being a redhead. Looks like today's the day. All I have is nail polish. Nah, that won't work. This red lipstick is a pretty shade. My hair would look awesome in this hue. I'll start with a test strand. Is it looking pink yet? Whoa, that looks so pretty! Combing through should get rid of any clumps. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Whoa! It looks even more fabulous than I thought! I've gotta go out and show these locks off. Oh, come to mama! Bella, look at my new hair! Who needs a pricey salon, right? Sometimes when you're in the middle of doing something fun, you don't realize you may look a little… off. Ooh, Lily, you're looking a little moist there. Your hair seems to be sticking to your face a bit. Your skin's super oily, Lily. Unfortunately, some of us ladies get greasy throughout the day. Oh no, it looks like I just took a dip in the pool. Why did this have to happen on our second date? Hey, I wonder if there's anything in here that can help me. Toilet seat covers? That actually might work. If you find yourself boasting an oily sheen, try using a toilet seat cover to blot your skin with. Simply put the paper to your skin and watch it absorb the grease right off your face. Man, that's a lot of oil. Dab it wherever you need a little drying, and before you know it, you'll be fresh-faced and ready to go. Ah, that's so much better. Sorry about that, I just needed to freshen up a bit. Hey, at least we know your skin is super moisturized now. And your date isn't too grossed out to look at you. For most girls, doing makeup can feel like second nature. That is, of course, until it's time to draw in your eyebrows. It's okay, Lily, you got this! Or, uh, 
Maybe you don't got this. With all this outlining and shading, you often end up with eyebrows a little more intense than you intended. See what I mean? Huh? Huh? Achoo! Lose this, Vicky? Before you give those tweezers back, try something new! Did you know if you put some of the pencil onto the metal part of the tweezers, you can use them to trace on your brows more easily? Okay, here's how it's done. Start at the inside end of your brow and move to the other end without lifting the tool. Pinch it off at the end. Using a brush, you can help keep the hairs in line. Plus, it smooths out the harshness of the lines you just drew. Nice! Okay, you can have this back now. Hey, maybe I should give that trick a try. For some girls, a little bit of sparkle is nice from time to time. But for people like Lana, the more glitter, the better. Wow, look how sparkly! Uh, Lana? I'm not so sure that makeup brush is supposed to be used for crafting. It's no use. This girl is officially under the sparkle spell. Hey Lana, what you up to? Oh, you know, just glitterfying some of my stuff. No, that's not yours. Sure it is, it's my brush. No, I bought this last weekend. It's brand new and super expensive, Lana. How am I supposed to get all this paint and glitter off? You better hope this cleaning method works or you're going to owe me another brush. Well, geez, you don't need to be mean about it. Need to give your makeup brush a good clean? Put some hand soap on a flat Lego piece like this one here. Once you've got a good glob on there, take your brush in the other hand and rub it into the grooves of the plastic. Yikes. Look at all that nastiness. And it's all coming right off. Don't forget to give the brush a good rinse as you go. You'll know you're done when the water runs off the brush clear. Okay, Lana, I have good news. Thanks to this thing, my brush is as good as new. Great! Can I have it back now? I'll take that as a no. Geez, I'll be sure never to touch her stuff again. Well, except for this makeup case I snagged out of her room earlier. Okay, let's see what we have here. Jackpot! There are like 10 brushes in here! Let the glitter fest begin. Well, one thing's for sure, I don't want to be around when Bella finds out about this. To curl hair as long as Lana's, it takes a lot of time and materials. Gotcha! Okay, almost halfway done. My hair's gonna look so cute tomorrow. And twist! There we go! Hey, where are the rest? I still have half my head to curl! I can't just leave it straight. Maybe there's something under here? No, these won't work. What about in here? Just a bunch of toilet paper. Actually, this could work. You can twist and bend this stuff, right? Take off a couple of squares. Then roll it up. Be sure to wet your hair first. Then roll the toilet paper up your strand. Just like you would a normal curler. Just be careful not to tear the paper. Once you get to the top, twist the paper and tie it together. You may be onto something, Lana. Now for one more. I sure hope this trick works. We won't know for sure till morning. But so far looks pretty promising. I'll see you in the morning, curls. Is it morning already? <sighs> Time to find out if it worked. The suspense is killing me. They stayed in place. That's good. Now for the moment of truth. Look! The curl is totally perfect! Check out that bounce! And just like that, I have long, gorgeous curls. And all from some old toilet paper. 
I'll just do a quick phone check. Oh, someone's calling me. <sighs> so cute. Makes me want to hug my phone. Sure, you can borrow something. That black dress with the straps, right? Oh, she left her makeup bag over there. Now's my chance! Yoink! Better run! Oh, there he is! Oh my gosh, I have to do something! Where is it? There! This'll definitely work. Okay, good. They look smoochable. Better let my hair down, too. And give it a shake. Ugh! It's stuck to my lips! I don't know. Maybe this isn't enough. Should I use this, too? Yep, I think so. Just a little bit. It's so light. Just carefully brush it on my lips. Done! I can put it away! Here's my chance! Oh wow! Your lips! Yes! We're gonna kiss! Hey! Stop this right now! You took my makeup! <gasps> Get back here! Ow! Uh, girls can be scary. Ugh. What time is it? Oh no, I'm running so late. I knew I should have gone to bed earlier last night. All right, I have just enough time to get ready. Okay, where to start? Where to start? Um… Well, that's one way to do it. Whoa. You sure look great, Bella. But perhaps you could use one last embellishment? Yes! These adorable little cat ears are the perfect way to complete this look. Next up, picking out an outfit. Ooh, this simple white tee could work. And this red scarf is pretty snazzy, but too over the top for class. But as most girls already know, it's always a better idea to get dressed BEFORE you put all your makeup on. Ugh. See what I mean? Oh man, I got my makeup all over this white shirt! You could avoid this super annoying scenario if you'd like. We just have to take you back a few steps. Okay, stop right there. But this time, maybe don't be so quick to throw that scarf to the wayside. Before putting your t-shirt over your freshly made up face, use a silk scarf like this to protect it. Just keep it over your head when you slide your shirt on. And voila! Bella's hair and makeup is still perfectly intact. <sighs> is the teacher looking? She's facing the board. Now's my chance! Careful. Don't want to draw her attention. Wait a second… You thought you were so clever! Time to put an end to this! Hello! Yes, it's me! You know the rules! Fine. Here's my lipstick. No one can escape my detection! That lipstick was brand new, too! Hey! That pencil gives me a great idea! Yep, I can definitely work with this. First things first, I'll need to take off this eraser. Now to put a straw over the end of the pencil. I'll need to cut off the extra. Now I'll need some lipstick. I'll heat it in the spoon so it melts. Now that it's liquid, I can pour it into the straw mold. Careful! I don't want to spill any. And done! It's dried so I can take off the straw. It worked! I have a lipstick eraser on my pencil! Huh? What's going on back there? Rosie, is that makeup? Oh no ma'am! This is just my pencil. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Whew! Made it by the skin of my teeth! But you remembered to bring up red! <laughs> What's she talking about? Huh? 
this can't be good. Oh no! This thing is the size of Alabama! I need lots of foundation for this. <gasps> is that makeup? Teacher! Uh, shut up! I need this! Shut your mouth! Please! Stop! What's all that ruckus? Ugh, jeez. <laughs> it's not that bad, right? Who's up next? <gasps> Me! I know! Nobody? <gasps> Over here! Okay, come on up. What's with that girl? Wait, I got it! Wanna hide your foundation? You just need a sharpener lid. Then pour the makeup on in. Then grab a glue stick, take the cap off, and use a blade to get it out. Once the container's empty, stick in your favorite makeup sponge. This is exactly what I need! Say goodbye, ugly pimple! I gotta be quick! Hope this can cover it all. I did it! There. Nice and smooth. Nothing to see here. Where did your zit go? You and your imagination. But you just had. Where'd your makeup go? Maybe I need new glasses. This next lesson is very. Is Bella putting on lip gloss in the middle of my lecture? I'm putting a stop to this. Perfect. And the rest? Ugh, fine. <laughs> Must have crept into my pocket. And? <sighs> well, I guess the jig is up, huh? Now this is all my stuff, okay? Almost forgot about this guy. You happy? <laughs> sure am. <sighs> and you, Betty? Smuggling any eyeshadow these days? <sighs> Who? Me? All I have is this stuff. Such a good student. Now back to the lesson! Phew. Luckily, Teach didn't look too close. She would have seen that my crayons were just makeup in disguise. What kind of crayons are those? To make these, use a blade to cut off the wrapper. Remove the crayon and stick in your favorite makeup pencil. Then use clear glue to seal the wrapper. Quick! Before it dries! Nice! Just one more step. Can't leave any wood showing. Then stick it right back in the box. This hack is genius! Girls! We're just taking notes, see? Oh, very well then. Nothing like a night out with your bestie. And tonight's gossip sure is juicy. Oh. Looks like you lost your lipstick there. Hey, any chance you brought extra? Oops. Hey. Don't sweat it. I have a perfect color for ya. No, no, I have something better. See? Take a spoon and your favorite lip color. Twist the makeup up a bit. And let a clump fall onto the spoon. Then heat it up from underneath. Take a small container like this. And pour the melted color inside. Then add in some Vaseline. A small glob should be enough. It should look like this when mixed. And that's it. Now for the phone case. Put hot glue into the middle. And stick the container on top. And now your makeup's gone mobile. Touch-ups are super easy now. Looking better already, right? And as a gloss, this color's perfect. A girl always comes prepared. Even to girls' night. That's for sure. As good as you do your makeup, touch-ups throughout the day are essential. This palette sure is bulky. Any room for my brushes in here? Can't forget my brush! And staying hydrated is a must. There we go. Any more room in there? Everything's just so tight. Is there a bigger bag I can use? I just want one more little thing. 
Hey, look at all those Q-tips. Um, Lily, think I can snack one of those? Thanks. This is gonna be perfect. Why carry around a bottle of makeup when a Q-tip can carry it for you? Simply dip it into your concealer. And once you get a good amount, it's good to go. The baggie will keep the tip moist. Don't forget to seal it up tight. Now you're ready. This thing can fit just about anywhere. Even this tiny pocket. I'm heading out. Bye, Betty. What's with the giant mess? Seriously?